Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to take a look at how we can use alerts that are triggered inside Dynamics and Operations to trigger flows in the Power Platform. Okay, so you've probably seen on, on most records in Dynamics 365 uh, where you can create uh, an alert, for example, if an item is atom, added or deleted, you can create an alert and send it to a user. What we can use is that same functionality to trigger a flow to do more things for us. Okay, so let's dive in and take a look at the alerts first. So if we go into, um, let's, let's take customers, for example, we'll go into accounts receivable, we'll go to all customers, and we'll let that load up. And then if we have any customer highlighted, we're just going to click on option and then we can uh, create a custom alert. All right, so if we take a look at this alert here, here's a rule ID 638. Uh, it's going to do it on the customer's table. Uh, we can choose, you know, whether or not a record's been created or a record's been deleted. Um, we can determine, you know, who's it, who's it going to go to the email um, and put a message or, or whatever you want to on an email. So what I'm going to do here is I want to make sure that I want to Check, uh, send externally so it's going to trigger our, our um, business events catalog entry and, and send an external event. I can choose send an email as well um, out, out of the system, but I, for this example, I'll just leave it at no here. Okay, so that's kind of how you set up an alert on a customer. Now, when you do set these up, what do you want to do is you want to make sure if you go to system administration uh, underneath setup and then down here under alerts you want to make sure this change based alerts this is a batch job so you just want to make sure that that's running you, you need that running regardless of if, if you're using the external alerts or the just normal alerts you want to make sure that's running that's what actually triggers the alert okay so i've got that running every couple of minutes there now the next thing we want to take a look at is um so let's go into the business events catalog here so we're going to the business events catalog, which is under system administration, set up business events. And the event that we're going to use is this business alert event, right? So an alert rule is triggered. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this schema. We're going to need that here in a minute for our flow. So I'll open that up. And that's just going to give us the, uh, the JSON schema for the business event. I'll minimize that for right now. But this is the alert rule that we're, we're going, going to use here, okay? So let's flip over to um, make.powerapps.com and we'll go underneath my flows and let's take a look at the flow here that I've created for this one. So basically what you want to do is when a business event occurs, um, so it's going to give me my instance and then what kind of uh, category I have. So I'm going to use alerts in my business event catalog category. And then when an alert rule is triggered and then the legal entity is going to be the USMF. Now, what we want to do is we're going to parse that JSON. That's pretty simple to do. We're going to generate it from sample. Um, you, what you do is you're going to copy this uh, where we downloaded the schema. You're just going to paste it into this uh, sample JSON payload. You'll click done, and that will generate something that looks sort of like this here. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is I wanted to look at a specific rule. So I created earlier. Let me flip back to Dynamics real quick. So earlier on my release products, so if I go back to product information management and then I go to release products, I created the same sort of rule for us here. So if I go over here to my options and then I go look at manage my alerts, you'll see that I've got a rule here, uh, number 616, that's just gonna be for the release products table. Um, basically, when an ad item is added, it's gonna, gonna basically trigger this alert. Same setup I did, I, I, I set it to send externally, okay? So if we go back over to our flow, that's what I'm, I'm looking for here in my conditions. So my rule ID is gonna be equal to 616. That's my, that, my rule ID, okay? So if, if, that, if it doesn't equal 616, I'm gonna send it to no, and I'm just not doing any action at this point. I'm just gonna leave it alone. You can do other things if it's no, uh, but for this example, I'm just I'm just not going to do anything. All right. So if it is rule 616, well, I'm going to do a couple of different things. So I'm going to send an email, right? So I've just used the Outlook, send an email, V2. And I'm going to send it to the email that's on the alert, which is my email address. And I'm putting the subject and the item ID here, okay? And then it's got a message in here talking about the item ID. And it gives me a, a reference here to click to go back and, and see the actual record ID there, okay? The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a Teams message. So I've created a team 
um, that I want to post these to. You know, for example, if you if you had a team of people that's managing inventory and you wanted to have those people see when when you get a a new item is added, you can post it to a team message. So did kind of the same message down here in the email. Just did it created a test team and um, all that. All right. So that's basically our flow here. So let's go and trigger it and see what happens. So all we need to do to trigger it, so we'll go back to our release products. We'll go ahead and do new. And we'll create a new product number. Let's see, let's create a 585. Call this an oil filter. And we'll just give it some default values here. We'll make it FIFO to the audio group. We'll do it, uh, we'll create a warehouse item. And we'll make it tracking dimension group none. And we'll make it default reservation hierarchy. And pretty much else, everything else we'll just leave it alone, okay? So we're gonna say okay there. Now my flow is set up to run about every two minutes. One, I think it's one or two minutes it's, it's running. So it may take it just a minute to run, but here we should see in just a minute, we'll see it uh, fire off an email and actually post into our Teams channel. So I'm gonna pause the video here for just a second, let that flow run, and then we'll see, we'll pick back up when it, when it runs. All right, so we're back, and I just wanna show you, this is the email that was generated for us, you know, so record has been created. I'm 51585 oil filter, I've got a little message here, and then I've got a hyperlink to the uh, to the instance. Uh, so if I click on that, that'll open Dynamics 365, um, with, where it's filtered directly to the record there, and will show us show us the exact record number there. All right. So additionally, if I go to my teams here, let me drag the teams over. Um, notice I've just got a test team set up in a, in a general channel. And here's my um, same message here. I've got my 51585 oil filter, and I've got my hyperlink here to click on and go to and point straight to the record there. Okay. So in this example, you know, we, we generated an email and posted to Teams, which could, which could be very helpful. Um, if you, especially you know, the Teams part, if you've got a large team managing all of these things, you can uh, you can just post it to a Teams channel when a customer's added or an item is added or or really anything. But if you think about it, if you use the power flows is huge, you've got all those different connectors and you can do all sorts of different things with that data, add, add a customer or add an item to a different system if you needed to, or update different items in, in a different system if you wanted to. Um, all, you know, sky's the limit as far as the flow goes, okay? So I hope you found some value in this and, and see how you can use alerts to trigger other actions using Microsoft Flow. If you did, please give it a like or a thumbs up. That just helps the distribution of the video. And I put out one of these videos about once a week. So if this you know, if this content interests you, you know, please feel free to subscribe so you get notified when I upload new videos. Okay? So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later. Bye.